Hey guys, welcome back to The Dozens. Believe it or not, it's already that time of year. Time to say goodbye to one of our favorite shows, Insecure. Insecure Season 4 has just wrapped its season finale. The episodes are short and so is the season, but they still manage to pack in a lot. But we still have questions about this season and what we can expect in Season 5. So grab some popcorn and settle down as we cover the top 12 questions we have about Insecure Season 4. As usual, before we get started, take a second to subscribe so you stay up to date on our latest videos. Number 12. Will Lawrence still move to San Francisco? At the end of Season 4, Lawrence was offered an excellent job opportunity in San Francisco. Although it's in the same state as his current location, it's still a while away. Initially, it looked like he was going to take the job. He wanted to go and Issa said that she was willing to put in the hard work to make a long distance relationship work. She even put it out there that she was willing to relocate because there was nothing holding her back in LA. Towards the end of the season finale, some drama unfolded that could potentially pin Lawrence to the area. Moving to San Francisco could still work, but it would require some extra effort on his part. We wonder which route he will take. Number 11. Will we learn more about the family dynamics? This season, we saw more of Issa's family, especially her relationship with her brother. He acts as a minor replacement for Molly as Issa leans on him a lot to purge and for advice. We also see Molly work on her relationship with her father after she learned that he cheated on her mom years ago. Additionally, we see Andrew in his relationship with his brother, which believe it or not, shows why he's able to be so patient with Molly. We think that the family dynamics give insight into why these characters have some of the traits and habits they exhibit. Hopefully we get to see more next season, but not just from Molly and Issa, but from some of the other characters too. Number 10. Will Molly stay in therapy? Sometime in season 2, Molly decided that she was going to ignore her therapist's advice and put her ambitions first in her new work environment. She ended up blowing up her new work relationships and stopped seeing the therapist altogether. Huge mistakes. This season, she admits to her co-worker Torian that she realizes the errors she's made with him and is working to build a better relationship with him. She then realized that she actually does need a therapy after a blow up with Andrew's brother. So she calls her and ends up having a session. Apparently one is not enough. Hopefully we see Molly put in the work in therapy because she definitely needs it to fix the relationships that her behaviors have had a huge part in breaking. Number nine, can Issa and Condola ever be friends? At the beginning of this season, Condola and Issa were really close. Their friendship was growing so fast, it even had Molly feeling threatened. But soon after Condola and Issa got over the awkwardness of Condola dating Lawrence, Condola ghosted Issa when she needed her the most. Condola was a rock for Issa to lean on when planning her block party. During the critical few weeks leading up to the event, Condola stopped returning Issa's calls, texts, and emails because Lawrence may have indicated that he still has feeling for Issa and that they may never have broken up if she hadn't cheated. Condola randomly pops up at the block party to check on the vendors she helped Issa to secure, but she kind of brushed Issa off as if she was some distant acquaintance. We wonder what their interactions will be in the coming season, especially with all the drama brewing. Number 8. What's going on with Kelly? Kelly is hands down the funniest character on this show. Her comedic timing is on point and she's always there to hold her girls down. However, this awesome character always gets lost in everyone else's drama. We got a little bit from her in season 3 when there was trouble in her and Tiffany's relationship, but that was short lived. In the next season we definitely need more from her. Not just more screen time, but actual storyline. Number 7. What's next for Issa's career? In season three, Issa met Condola and between her and Nathan's encouragement, she put together a great event in season four. The success of her event helped her to realize that she wanted to create events for her community for a living. So at the end of season four, she began to make moves in that direction. We would love to see more of her building her business and spreading more of her entrepreneurial wings in the next season. Number six, will Molly and Andrew make it? 
We don't know about you, but we saw the end of Andrew and Molly coming from the beginning of the season. Andrew seemed really patient with Molly and her issues, but there's only so much someone can take. He allowed her and her feelings to always come first in their relationship, even with things that really mattered to him. Even though she claimed she heard what he really needs, she ended up trying to solve the problems by having him more involved in her wants, rather than taking a step back and really sacrificing her wants for his needs. In the end, Andrew couldn't take it anymore and initiated a breakup. In that conversation, Molly found herself trying really hard to get him to stay, but it just leaves the viewers wondering if it's even worth it. Did Molly actually really want the relationship with Andrew, or did she want to be able to say that she was capable of being in one? Did she really want the relationship, or was she using it as a crutch to not need anyone else? Either way, we won't know definitively what will happen with these two until next season. Even then, we doubt it'll be easy. Molly will have to really put in work to make it right. Number five, will Lawrence be there for his baby? Condola ghosted the latter half of the season because she didn't want a serious relationship and she wasn't sure about Lawrence's relationship with Issa. In the season finale, she pops up and reveals that she's pregnant and that she's keeping it. Lawrence didn't seem that excited. So Condola gives him an out, saying that he can be as involved as he wants to be with the baby. Either way, she's good. Lawrence doesn't seem like the type to not be involved with his child, but we were left without an answer until next season. Lawrence and Condola are great catches, and they seem to really click. Although Condola wasn't looking for anything serious, that may change with a baby on the way. Will Lawrence be able to resist the temptation and make things work with Condola for the sake of the baby? It's very possible, but we still have to wait until next season to find out. Number 4. Tiffany's Postpartum Depression We started off this season with Tiffany and her newborn. She was seemingly tired and frustrated with her happy home. In all conversation, she seemed annoyed with the thought of taking care of her baby and emphasized wanting to be out and have fun. All signs were pointing to postpartum depression. This seemed like a really important topic that was introduced but had no follow-up details except for her running away in the final episode. In an interview, Issa Rae says that this was done to highlight that a lot of times when women go through this, even their closest friends don't even know. Hopefully, Tiffany and her experiences with motherhood and marriage will have a larger role next season. Number 3. What does the future hold for Issa and Nathan? In season three, Issa and Nathan were such a cute couple. In fact, it almost seemed like their level of comfort with each other would have rivaled her relationship with Lawrence. Then Nathan ghosted Issa and broke her heart and her trust. It turns out that he wasn't just being a jerk, but he was going through some serious mental issues which required some isolation, and he wasn't sure how to handle it. Although Issa has forgiven him, she has something going on with Lawrence which is preventing her from moving forward with Nathan. Nathan admits that he still wants Issa in his life and so they're working on a friendship, but something tells us that next season they may be crossing that platonic line and we're here for it. Number 2. Will Issa and Lawrence get back together? So towards the end of season 4, Issa and Lawrence finally had the mature conversation that we were all waiting for. After waiting over two seasons for them to get over each other's mistakes, get over other people, and finally focus on each other, we made it to the home stretch or whatever we thought this was. After Condola helps Lawrence to realize that if Issa didn't cheat, they would probably still be together, Lawrence realized that maybe cheating wasn't a deal breaker for him. When Lawrence invited Issa out, it was eye-opening for both of them. They spoke about what they were both thinking during those last months of their relationship, and boy was it bad. We think they needed to break up to really grow up and realize what they meant to each other. In the season finale, they finally seem like they were moving towards togetherness, but then Condola drops the bombshell. She's pregnant. Although Lawrence didn't want that to keep him from being with Issa, for Issa, this may be a deal breaker. Unfortunately, we have to wait until next season to see whether or not it is. But before we hop into our number one pick, jump down to the comments and let us know what you would like for us to cover in our next video. And while you're down there, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you can stay up to date on our latest videos. Number one, will Issa and Molly be friends again? Oh 
Molly, Molly, Molly. We're not sure about you, but we're not entirely sure why Molly is so upset with Issa. We think that her possible legitimate reasons have been shrouded by her behavior and some of her more problematic traits. When Issa attempts to extend an olive branch to Molly, Molly doesn't think that it's good enough and when confronted she tells Issa that she thinks that they've grown apart. Now in the end after Molly realizes that she's pushed away all of the people who love her, she reaches out to Issa for a talk. The only difference between this conversation and the one before is that Issa is now prepared to move forward without Molly. Will these two be able to repair what is broken or will they give each other the closure and lessons they need to move on? So there you have it, the top 12 questions we have about Insecure Season 4. Did we miss anything? Are you ready for Season 5? Are you hoping that the network will give this show more budget and time so we can get more content? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up on our newest videos.